hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all today is a little bit of a bittersweet video this is my last video i'm going to be filming in my current place so that is again why we have an empty shelf which y'all saw last week as well but uh your girl is a little bittersweet about it i'm actually super grateful to be able to get out of this place okay watch my vlogs if you want to know you know the tea and everything but yeah it's a little bittersweet but we move so first things first hey my name is mink i do a lot of natural hair lifestyle beauty book content all of those things so if you're interested in any of those of course go ahead and hit that subscribe button join our kiki crew fam we would absolutely love to have you as well as if you are new around here leave me a comment so that i could personally welcome you to our family so y'all we're actually going to do another like use up the stash type of video i have been running through some products now we're not going to empty either of these products today but they're they're both just about going so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and try these two out together so first one that we have here is the kinky tresses avocado infusion hair milk and then we're going to pair it with the main choice cheers gelato so we're going to try this combo today and see exactly how it turns out y'all know it has been hot this summer so i'm trying my best to a keep my hair moisturized but also make sure to give my hair some hold so that it'll actually last and y'all know i will be moving in the summertime heat uh-huh so yeah i need something that's going to last me a little bit so i do have my hair in four sections i did go ahead and shampoo and deep condition today with the no i shampooed with something else but i deep conditioned with the um 4c only deep conditioner that's another one i thought i was gonna finish it and i have the tiniest little bit left so that is what we are going to do today and then i have my hair in four sections this is a bigger section than usual because these two front sections are just going to be one big twist so that i don't have to worry about the hair being in my face so that is what my back section is looking like there's actually not a whole lot of definition in it um because that deep conditioner to me gives you that like cloudy effect so i'm gonna go ahead and oil my scalp real quick and then we'll come back and um apply the leave-in because we need to talk i have i have we need to talk okay all right you guys so i have my oil all applied to this section i'm making sure i'm getting these little shed hairs out as well and then i'm going to just split this section maybe in like three or four um just to make sure that i'm making sure that my leave-in will be fully applied nicely and you know my hair is fully covered as well okay so we're gonna go in with a section about this size i feel like that's fine we're not doing anything too too complicated today because baby we have bigger fish to fry right now so i like to apply my leave-ins to wet hair so that is what i'm going to do and then i just like to make sure that i am working the water through so that each section of hair is wet and then we're going to go ahead and grab some of this moisture milk so this is the moisture milk i want to say i may be about like right here so it's just about gone it's probably another two uses or so and this product is thick um and i think it's pretty concentrated as well y'all see that i can just yeah um but then once you rub it in it does melt down and get creamy so it'll actually soak into your hair i might not have even needed this much but y'all know the back sections of my hair are the most dry so i wouldn't even be mad if they have a little bit of extra love anyway but i wanted to come on and talk to you guys because don't shoot the messenger okay but i don't think that i will be posting about kinky tresses on my channel anymore um so you guys know if you have been around for a little while i have talked about them quite a bit quite a bit i have several several videos um showcasing their products on my channel i've done a couple reels um and you know like tiktok type of things and um i reached out to them about a potential collaboration and y'all i never heard back i mean quite literally radio silence okay i know that they have put me in one of their um like email newsletters um y'all know i don't like that that's why i cut honey's handmade off because there's no notice to the creator they just like took a screenshot of my video and just you know put it up um and me personally i talked to one of my girlfriends about it as well 
and she had a similar experience and I don't know y'all for me as a creator I find that very very frustrating even if you don't have like an opportunity for creators to work with you at this time most creators would appreciate you just saying that instead of just leaving them on red on scene um especially when you know somebody has taken the time to you know showcase your video showcase your products and videos before and all of that because as y'all saw when I applied the leave-in I actually think the products work out really really well for me y'all know that I um really like this leave-in I like the deep I love the deep conditioner and I love the twisting cream and I'm actually using up the shampoo right now um and this is something that it took a lot for me to do and honestly um I just I just don't like that I have so many products that I could use um and you know brands that you know send me things and would appreciate you know me doing a video or have some sort of response or interact with my content or you know anything like that I there's just so many more things that I could be using and or showcasing on my channel using my content a without any notification to me I wasn't an ambassador or anything um, and then you know the lack of response when I did reach out was frustrating as well so for me i don't think i'll be showing them on my channel or platforms anymore that's not to say that i won't still use their products like y'all know i'm going to use up the products that i have and honestly i might repurchase i won't say that i will or i won't say that i won't because i'm not 100 percent sure it does just leave a bad taste in my mouth after you know an experience like this so y'all will see um kinky tresses products in empties and like using up the stash type videos um or in like my monthly routines type things but as far as like product combos and using them um this will be the last video for that so i'm sorry y'all about this impromptu um like influencery type of rant but natural hair realms get to be a little frustrating like um but i just wanted to give you guys a heads up because i know that a lot of you guys also like kinky tresses and i'm not saying that you guys shouldn't repurchase because me personally i may still repurchase i'm not sure um but i just don't like the way that um this interaction has left me feeling if i'm just being honest you know so so yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and just finish applying this leave-in across my head and then we will come back and apply the main choice gelato and see how this combo works out on my hair together okay you guys so i'm back and we have the leave-in all applied y'all see it usually soaks into my hair very well I usually honestly don't use the Kinky Tresses products um, in the summertime at all because I think that they're so moisturizing that they work best for me in the wintertime. I'm usually able to get away with lighter stuff, um, so I usually just don't. But I wanted to try it out today, and I also wanted to give you guys, you know, a little bit of tea on that. And we're going to go ahead and, and follow up with the Main Choice Cheers Gelato. And this does have a bit of protein, so it's supreme strength and full protection. And it's the collection that had beer and stuff in it. So reading it real quick, it says, Cheers to strong strands and full protection, packed with natural sources of amino acids, derived from beer to strengthen and nourish the hair, leaves hair restored, shiny, and beautiful. Savory gelato adds an amazing shine and strength to dull limp hair, brilliantly smooths the surface of the hair that's been compromised by heat, environmental, and mechanical damage. Cool. So it just says to section on to clean wet or damp hair. Y'all know for me, I'll be applying it to wet hair. Um, apply a sufficient amount of gel to each section from root to end. Air dryer or for faster drying, sit under a dryer or um, blow dry. And I'm about right here on the gel, so I'm a little less than half. I still like the way the Gelato's collection smells. I know that they're, the main choice website doesn't sell this anymore. You guys have told me before that the owner has like a separate site um and i know the girls love them some gelato so hopefully um this combo works out pretty well and i'm just going to go ahead and split this section in half i'm not in the mood to do anything crazy like i said i still have some packing and other odds and ends stuff to do so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this section here and we're going to spray it down with some water Like I said, I like to apply everything, just about everything on my hair. 
um wet so i want to make sure that i'm able to finger detangle a bit and just um wet enough so that i feel like the gel will really um like lock onto my hair so now that my hair is wet we're going to go ahead and apply some gel of course i use a lot of gel i use a lot of everything as far as consistency the gelato y'all know the main choice gels usually are just very sticky so I started out with about this much gel. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. About that much gel. I didn't know how much to take. Cheryl, because it's been a long time since I've done a wash and go with one of the main choice gels. I think I'm going to need some more. But I'm just going ahead and rubbing that into my hair. Um, and these gels to me don't really have a lot of slip. So you kind of got to move fast so um, it doesn't all the way dry down on your hair. But as you guys can see, curls are coming to life let me go ahead and grab some more gel down and y'all can see this gel is just so thick and clumpy it just look i don't like the way that the main choice gels necessarily feel in my hands but i love the way that they turn out like the way that my hair turns out like y'all know i love the pearly braid out glaze it's one of my favorite gels of all time um just because it works out so so well for me for braid outs for wash and goes everything and right where I finger detangle is where I'm going to pull apart the sections. And as y'all can see, curls are like just, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Like, it just looks so, so good already. And this is just, just after I define it. Like, I'm going to put a little bit more on this section because this is another, like, coarser section. So I'm going to just put a little bit more at the roots because for me, that's where my hair tends to get frizzy first is the roots. So I literally just got a little fingertip full and I'm just putting it on the tops and then running it down. And that is all we are going to do. So that is what the hair is looking like. Y'all see the curls are very defined. Um, very, very defined. There's a smidge of frizz and I don't really know why, but you know, we're just going to, we're going to keep going. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I'm just going to show you guys me doing maybe, maybe a couple sections. Um, maybe I'll come back and do the twist on camera as well when I show you guys what my hair looks like wet, but child, it's another wash and go. Y'all have seen me do so many wash and goes, so I'm just following the same set, same steps of getting my hair wet. I'm doing a bit more finger detangling just with the leave-in in and then I'm applying some gel and we're doing a little bit of defining and then we're keeping it pushing. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and these are surprisingly my day one results. I know y'all see the definition, like, and I know y'all see the shrinkage, too. Um, so, like I said, these are day one results. I did my hair yesterday, and I did go to sleep with white hair. Mm, I did. I don't know how the diffuser girlies do it, but, yeah, after about 10 minutes, I was like, mm-mm. And I just put my scrunchies on and went to sleep. So I will say that didn't that didn't do me any favors. Um, Y'all know it takes my hair a really, really long time to dry. Um, 
especially like with my most recent cut i feel like i have a lot more like volume and i could feel a lot more of my density so especially the bottom section where my hair is also coarser you can clearly see that it is more um like frizzy down here hopefully you guys are able to see that but it's definitely more frizzy on the bottom and even in some sections like on the top um there's just a little bit of frizz as well so nothing that is bothering me at all per se um i just know that if i would have <sighs> sat under a dry turn the air on sat under the dryer or just let my hair finish drying i feel like my hair would have turned out beautifully so let's talk the products first thing i used was the um kinky trusses avocado infusion hair milk which of course i love the product like i said it's not the product that's the issue um i just we already talked about that so i like the product and i actually think that it paired very very well with the cherry gelato gel which again is another product that the girls and guys just love i have about this much left of the product literally like this much so i may honestly be able to get two wash and goes out of that and i may try this combo again because it worked out very very well for me this is just a very very moisturizing and this is a pretty hard holding gel so i really like the way that these um went together i don't have any flakes as you guys can see my hair is super defined even in my most like coarse sections my hair is defined like y'all can see that like my hair just looks like just good like the hair just looks good and again this is without me stretching at all so i can't wait to stretch and see what exactly my hair is going to look like so i'm going to preserve my hair like i usually do i do four little mini pineapples and then on the back sections i use um scrunchies and just sort of do like those little bubble things so i'll just twist the scrunchie down so it stretches it out a little bit because as you guys can see you can see where my um hair hangs a little bit longer so once i stretch this out i honestly think that this is going to be great i usually stretch with heat but honestly it's a bajillion degrees outside so i feel like it's going to shrink back up anyway and like i said i'm about to move so chad the sweat's gonna get to it before anything anyway so honestly i actually do think that this is a really really good combo if you have both of the products i would highly recommend that you try them together um i like them both i know that there's a way that you guys can get this gel if i can find the website i will link it down below if not kinky crew come on come on okay let the girls and guys know where they can pick this up and then of course i will have kinky tresses um linked in the bio as well down below but this will this will be the last time y'all see kinky tresses on my channel i ain't like that y'all know one thing about me i'm a, i'm a <laughs> I'm going to give y'all a reel, and honestly, I just didn't like that. I love their products. I think they work really well. I'm not sure if I'll repurchase or not. Um, I'll include that in a vlog, or even if I buy, like, during Black Friday or something, I'll include that. But as far as just using the products themselves on my channel, I probably won't be doing that at all anymore. Um, like I said, it's not the products. I really enjoy the products, but, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I actually really like this combo. So let me know if you've tried either of these down below or if you're going to try these two together. Um, and then, yeah, y'all, we see we got the empty shelf. This is my last wash and go combo in this place. So next time we do a hair video, I will be in my new spot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have enjoyed the content I have made in this place. And I will see you guys next time. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow me on this new chapter, okay? I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.